What if vaccination rates dropped so low that pertussis outbreaks became common in elementary schools across America? It starts with that distinctive whooping sound as children gasp for air between violent coughing fits. But the real tragedy begins when these school kids bring the disease home to their baby siblings. Infants under six months old have no protection. Their tiny lungs can't handle the infection. Hospital pediatric wards fill with babies struggling to breathe, some requiring life support. Schools close for weeks during outbreaks leaving working parents scrambling. New parents become prisoners in their own homes, too terrified to take their newborns anywhere public. Then comes the shocking discovery that adults who got childhood vaccines decades ago have lost their immunity. Pregnant women rush to get booster shots, hoping to pass antibodies to their unborn babies. Entire families spend weeks in quarantine, missing work and school. The most heartbreaking reality, this preventable disease still kills 20 infants every year in the United States. All of this remains completely avoidable through maintaining high vaccination rates and staying current with boosters.